What should you do to take care of your scalp micropigmentation after your treatment? In this video, we're going to cover the scalp micropigmentation aftercare guidelines. Hi, I hope you're having a great day. It's Justin David here from Scalp Culture, your go-to source for everything scalp micropigmentation related. If it's your first time here and you'd like to see similar content related to scalp micropigmentation, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you found the information useful. All of the links to everything we discuss in this video can be found in the description box below. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I'll be giving you some extra tips on the aftercare of your SMP treatment. After having your scalp micropigmentation treatment, the aftercare is minimal and there's no doubt time, meaning you can return to normal life immediately. But there are some guidelines and following these guidelines will ensure that you have a great end result and avoid any complications. So to start, it's important to understand that once you leave your SMP clinic, it becomes your responsibility to take care of the treatment the best you can. New SMP tattoos are wounds and the skin has had its main protection barrier damaged. It's important to protect your skin until it's fully healed and avoid any unsanitary conditions. The attention given to aftercare over the first few hours and days helps to avoid potential problems and contributes to the final appearance of your scalp micropigmentation treatment. Failure to follow the aftercare guidelines may severely impact your SMP treatment and affect the end result. Now for the specific SMP aftercare guidelines. Firstly, do not wet or wash your scalp, excessively sweat or shave your head for four days after the SMP treatment. On the fifth day after your SMP treatment, you can gently wash the scalp over with clear water only. Gently wash it over with the clear water and give it a gentle rub to remove any excess pigment that may still be on your scalp. At this point, please do not scrub your scalp or wash it under a power shower. Also, please do not wash your head with shampoo at this point or soak it in the bath. When drying your scalp at this point, only pat it with a towel rather than rubbing it. Once you have dried your scalp, you can now shave your hair using foil shavers or hair clippers. You must not use a razor blade as this can interfere with any scabs that have not yet healed. Also from the fifth day, it's important to start moisturizing your scalp three times a day ready for your next treatment session if you are in between treatment sessions. Failure to moisturize may result in you having excess dry skin on your scalp, which makes it harder for our needles to penetrate your skin. After your final treatment session, you can then moisturize from the fourth day as and when required. Before we continue, if you have any questions about scalp micropigmentation aftercare, please drop them in the comment section below. Now moving on, from the seventh day after your treatment session, a light sweat is fine. For example, a light workout will be fine at this point, but you'll still need to avoid excessively sweating for at least 10 days after any treatment session. Also from the 10th day, use of a light shampoo is fine, such as a baby shampoo or a shampoo that doesn't contain harsh chemicals. After your treatment session, we recommend to avoid wearing hats or other headwear which may rub on the treatment. This can cause infection, especially if the headwear is dirty. If it is essential that you wear headwear after the treatment session, we recommend that you ensure that the headwear is clean. Now for swimming, we recommend to avoid swimming for 30 days after any treatment session. You'll also need to avoid saunas and steam rooms for 30 days also. This just allows for your treatment to fully heal and will help you to avoid getting an infection in the treatment. With regards to sun exposure, you'll need to protect your scalp from harsh sun conditions during your treatment sessions. After your treatment has fully healed and after the 10th day, you can then start to use a sun lotion to protect it from harsh sun conditions. We recommend using a sun lotion with a factor 30 plus. Harsh sunshine can lighten your treatment prematurely and using a sun lotion will help to keep your treatment looking fresher for longer. Our aftercare at Scalp Culture is more on the cautious side, but it just helps to keep you protected and avoid any complications. I now have a few tips to help you through the healing process. Tip number one, you may experience slight itchiness of the scalp during the healing process. It's important not to scratch or pick any scabs which may be remaining on your scalp. We suggest that you press the itching area or just tap it and it will take the itch off. When touching the treated area while it's still healing, please ensure that your hands are nice and clean just to avoid any infection. Tip number two. Now I know I said to avoid swimming for 30 days, but let's say for example you have a holiday book for 25 days after your last treatment and you want to enjoy yourself, you will be absolutely fine. As I said, our aftercare is more on the cautious side just to protect our customers. If you do have a holiday booked, 
please be sure to let your SP artist know. Tip number three, if you do wear any headwear, please avoid using woolly hats. The reason being is that the fibers from the woolly hats can catch on the little scabs that you may have in your scalp and in turn can take the pigment with them as well so you'll see more fading from the treatment. I hope these aftercare guidelines have helped you to understand what you'll need to do after your SMP treatment. As mentioned, the aftercare for SMP is quite minimal and you can return to work and normal life right after any treatment session. You can also drive immediately after your SMP treatment session because there's nothing in the SMP treatment that will stop you from doing so. If you found this video informative and helpful, please support us by giving the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and check the links in the description box below. Until then, I will see you in the next one.